Mango comes first among the top rated delicious fruits. Mango farmers used to get considerable income. Ultra high density mango plantation is a new technology which raises the profit margin of mango farmers. Nowadays we cultivate mango not only for our consumption but also for export. Export quality mango should have uniform shape and color. When we cultivate in the conventional method, it is very difficult to maintain uniformity. But the new technology called ultra high density mango ensures export quality mango fruits. In India, though our farmers cultivate mango for several centuries, they used to follow the plant density of 40 trees per acre. A few years back, some of the farmers switched over to high density mango plantation method where the plant density is maintained as 200 trees per acre. But the latest technology of ultra high density plantation method helps to have 674 mango trees per acre. In this new technology, we reduce the space between rows and between trees by one third. The spacing may be four and a half meters by four and a half meters, three meters by two meters, and even three meters by one meter. This practice helps to have more number of trees per acre. The average height of the tree is only 7 feet so that we can pick all the fruits by hand itself. The tree is allowed to have only an average and balanced load of fruits by training and pruning. This method ensures 90% of the fruits with export quality. While maintaining the huge trees itself, is a challenging task in the conventional method. This new technology of raising dwarf trees has created great expectations among the farmers. India tops the world in production of mango fruits and export of mango fruits. The ultra high density mango plantation method has its origin in the field of a South African farmer. Anyhow, this method is being evolved in a scientific way in our country. Five years back, our mango scientists went for an international seminar in South Africa. After the in-house session, they were taken for a field visit. Our scientists were surprised to see a farmer's field with 900 mango trees in an acre. Traditionally, our farmers are familiar with 40 trees per acre. Some of them later switched over to 200 trees per acre. But this field of 900 trees was a surprise for our scientists. Since this technology helps to raise the productivity and also to maintain the uniformity, our scientists started to adapt this technology according to Indian conditions. In ultra high density plantation method, we can cultivate many varieties of mango including Alfonsa which is called as the king of mango fruits. Imam Pasan, Panganapalli, Bangalore, Neelam, Mallika, Bombay, Himsagar and many other varieties can be cultivated in this method. Ultra high density plantation method has been evolved now as a science. Hence, the farmers who have interest in this method should learn the technologies involved in this. In the old method, it is a difficult task to engage laborers to climb the huge trees to maintain them. But in the new technology, the height of the tree is only 7 feet. Hence, the farmer himself can maintain the tree and handpick the fruits. In these days of labor scarcity, this technology helps the farmer to carry out the entire operations without depending on laborers.
Farmers who want to go for ultra-high-density mango plantation method should avoid the fields which have the soil not suitable for mango. Clay soil, soil with limestones and waterlogging fields should be avoided. In all other types of land, we can cultivate ultra-high-density mango. For effective vegetative growth of mango trees, the soil pH should be from 6.5 to 7.5. Before preparing the field, the farmers have to test the soil. If the pH level varies, they have to apply kneaded gypsum and to make the soil pH level roughly at 6.8. Farmers can mark lines in their field with 3 meter space on one side and 2 meter space across it. Now, pits can be taken at all the crossing points. The pits should be of 1 meter length, 1 meter breadth and 1 meter depth. Then we have to plant quality seedlings in the pits. This spacing of 3 meters by 2 meters helps us to have 674 trees in an acre. Imagine the old method of 40 trees. Drip irrigation system ensures effective water management in ultra high density mango. The farmer has to ensure fixing a dripper which supplies 4 liters of water per hour at a distance of 1 and a half feet from the seedling. After one year, the farmer has to fix one more dripper at the same distance of 1 and a half feet from the seedling. In the beginning, we give 4 liters of water per seedling. After one year, we have to raise it to 10 liters. The yielding trees have to be supplied with 20 to 25 liters of water. In the beginning, we give 4 liters of water per seedling. After one year, we have to raise it to 10 liters. The yielding trees have to be supplied with 20 to 25 liters of water. Feeding the trees with water soluble fertilizers through drip irrigation system ensures better productivity. The farmer has to supply the recommended water soluble fertilizers in recommended intervals. Mulching with coconut coir waste or fodder crop stems around the mango ceilings will ensure medium temperature. It also reduces water evaporation from the soil. We can utilize farm waste like coconut coir waste, leaves, etc. Here we have used polythene sheets. Mulching has two important uses. One is to control the growth of weeds and the other one is to preserve the moisture in the soil. In ultra high density mango cultivation, training means the entire process which helps us to keep the trees within nearly 7 feet height and with the balanced vegetative growth looking like an umbrella. When the seedling grows up to 3 feet, we have to cut the tip using an equipment called secature, leaving 2 and a half feet stem from the ground level. This will lead to the growth of several branches. In the second phase of pruning, we have to leave only three branches which move outward in different directions and we can remove all other branches. Even in these three branches, we can remove the sub-branches. Then we can cut the tips of these three branches leaving one feet length from the main stem. In the third phase of pruning, we have to replicate the second phase, leave three suitable branches and remove the others. Cut the tip of the three branches leaving one feet length. If we follow the training process carefully in the first three years, we can maintain uniform umbrella shaped dwarf trees throughout the orchard. In the first three years, we have trained the tree to be of umbrella shape. In the following years, we have to prune various sub-branches 
so that the tree gets good sunlight and aeration inside while pruning we have to keep in mind two important things number 1 the height of the tree should be maintained below 7 feet number 2 we have to apply fungicide copper oxychloride immediately after pruning we can apply it as a paint or as a spray in general mango yield is not uniform every year if we get good yield in the first year we may witness a decrease in the next year to solve this problem it is recommended to apply the growth regulator kalthar just before flowering season it is advised to apply the growth regulator called paclobutrasol if we spray just 1 ml of kalthar per plant by mixing it with 10 liters of water by around september months it will result in balanced blooming Harvesting in ultra high density mango orchard is a simple process because the trees are only of the height of a man and the trees bear uniform types of fruits those farmers who are smart enough to grade their fruits and to send their fruits to the best market which offers maximum price are able to taste the maximum profit we can convert the conventional mango orchards into ultra high density mango orchards by step by step process cultivable land is shrinking year by year hence ultra high density mango cultivation which help in raising the per acre yield is a boon to the mango farmers national horticultural mission is a great government scheme which offers subsidy support for the farmers you can approach the assistant director of horticulture in your own block to know the subsidy details and formalities if you still have some technical doubts you may approach the director of horticulture or director of extension education in the agricultural university ultra high density planting method is introduced with an intention to raise the per acre productivity of mango we request the farmers of this country to land this in detail and to apply it and reap good harvest out of it